Hey everyone, welcome to the shortwave radio channel and uh, well we're gonna have a little bit of fun with the uh, Texan AN48X on medium wave in this video. So the uh, control box is here, the loop is up here, I got a uh, little place here that they can actually hang it and actually turn it easily when I want to make sure that I you know want for the directional purposes especially on medium wave directional uh, signals are important if you want to null out stations or improve reception so it's uh, indoors over here it has a very long wire comes over here now here's one thing that you need to know first of all the thing about uh, most portable radios except for like the you know uh, Conicom GP5 for example that does work with the uh, antenna input on medium wave. Most portable receivers like this Texan PL680 for example actually are not made for the use of the input of the antenna for medium wave. So when you actually plug in the included little wire here of course that doesn't do anything on medium wave. But Texan on this antenna has, of course, a great little idea. It actually added in the box different types of connections so that you can actually connect your antenna to your radio. One of them is this ferret or this ferret. And it connects, so what we do is it connects to, of course, that antenna input. And this ferrite now becomes the coupler so when you actually put it near the radio or behind the radio or near the internal ferrite of the receiver it will couple and actually make reception better so that is cool uh, because for any radios and most portables don't that you can't really uh, have that antenna plugged in at least there's a way to actually still improve reception by the way this is the stand that they give with the antenna. It is meant to actually hold your radios while you're actually playing with the antenna. And so on. So it's okay. You know, I mean, not the best stand in the world, but it does the job. Um, of course, one of the things you got to see is that over here, just below the antenna, the amplifier is on that antenna. It has a switch on it for shortwave, medium wave and long wave. Right now it's positioned for medium wave. So let's compare. We're gonna, I'm gonna actually uh, have you compare the signal of the 580 kilohertz CFRA from Ottawa which is more than 100 miles from here on the internal ferrite of the Texan and then we're gonna actually add the Texan uh, antenna the AN48X and compare to see if it actually gets better and here we go so uh, don't mind the fact that I'm tuned to 581 the radio is off by 1 kilohertz so that's why I'm tuned there so this is CFRA I'm gonna put it in local mode why because local mode will give us the weakest signal possible and you'll see that I can actually improve it quite a lot with the Texan AN48X so here is the strongest signal so if I put it in regular mode okay let's we just put it here this is what it looks like right now, when you to now plan, signal indicator is full scale signal isn't bad actually it's listenable but now let's see what happens when I add the Texan antenna so I will actually switch it on there we go and I will actually add the ferrite close to the radio to have it perform. Look at how better reception is. And of course, you use this to tune and tune precisely. With Park and Fly's car door to curbside service, we'll pick you up at your car door and drop you off at the terminal curbside. And you'll always have a guaranteed spot waiting for you. Imagine Look at that. No more waiting outdoors in the cold. Now I can actually put it to the local switch and look at that. Even in local. Look how clear this is. Easy and convenient. Visit parkandfly.ca for details. Park happy. The past is written, but we are left. Now, 
Let me just remove the coupler from the back of the radio. Look at that. Noisier. That's for sure. Also, note the directional pattern of the antenna. So, I'll put this back here. I'll put it back on local. And with my hand, Insurance companies I'm going to actually turn not to the loop in term disability claims. They expect most people to simply walk away from the money they're owed. I can actually null it out here. Before you call a lawyer, discover your rights at disabilityrights.ca. And, and this learn is pretty what much the positioning don't want to have the maximum signal. Go to disabilityrights.ca. So actually just discover your rights. Turn the loop. So the I'm going to show you. Get what you are owed. I'm doing this. So here's a loop. You're listening to Ottawa Now on News Talk 580 CFRA. You're able to almost know out the station. Pretty amazing when you look at that. All I right, mean, so we are continuing to monitor that on medium wave commission meeting. On medium wave, Peter this thing actually seems to work really, really well. That built LRT has so of course. He said, I know it's cool. Let's tune another signal working. that we'll try to get here. The to get the trains back on the track. They're adamant that they're going to get the trains running soon. Night 60 is another one. I'm just going to remove this. Shut it off. I'm going to put the radio back in its normal mode. So here we go. 960 kilohertz. All right, your thoughts on that when we come back. 1-800. 636-8686. Let's see if I can actually make this better. It's interesting. Because in this case, It doesn't seem to really help much. It actually degrades and seems to overload my receiver with some kind of ash from FM stations. I'm gonna turn the loop in another direction. So I'm gonna keep it in a different direction. And see if I can still improve this signal on 960. There we go. So this is, with the loop that I've actually positioned differently, I'm still getting the station, but let's try to see if there's a difference. So I'm putting it in local. So local signal, look at how the uh, S meter is, or the uh, bar graph signal is. Let's remove the ferrite from the back. It definitely seems to improve uh, when I put the other antenna. But then again, look at this. Yeah, it's definitely better. Now, I'll show you one thing that is probably what makes this antenna good or bad sometimes. It comes with a very, very long length of wire. And you can see it here. And listen how it changes things, how I actually move the wire around. So I put it in a bunch of wire here. Look, the signal improves. I let it hang as long as possible, the signal degrades. So one of the plagues or the biggest problems of this antenna is this very long wire that they supply with it. It unfortunately is a weak link to this antenna. So you got to be careful and have it as short as possible in order for this to work well actually. And position it differently also. So that's a drawback of this antenna uh, for both um, shortwave, longwave, and medium wave. 
uh, here in our demonstration we're on medium wave of course so it makes it a little more difficult to tune in sometimes because that wire is way too long the idea behind that wire is I get it I get why they give so much length is to have the antenna at one part and you can actually go and sit with your radio in your comfy chair even if it's almost at the other side of the room but the problem is that it adds a lot of noise to all the system um, so that's one negative aspect of this uh, wire so let's try on the higher range here let's uh, try 1570 so 1570 this is local let's see if I can actually have this improved uh, by Yep, definitely can. So this is 1570 out of Laval with some music. If I remove the ferrite here and just leave the radio alone, it definitely improves. But look at how strong it is anyways, just with the local, um, you know, uh, the local radio of uh, internal ferrite itself but here we can actually distinctly see that it overloads the receiver so I put it on local to have it working like this so uh, kind of interesting to see uh, this performance uh, of this uh, antenna so I don't know if there's uh, anything else I could uh, tune in quickly Only really strong stations, basically. So, you know, anyways, you get the drift of the good and the bad points for medium wave, but it definitely, definitely works on medium wave. It definitely will improve. And I'll actually have another video like this, but that time I will be using nighttime patterns when you listen to stations from far away, how well they actually come in when you use this uh, Texan AN48X antenna. One of the interesting thing here is that this control box has two things. It has a gain control or signal level control and it has detuning on the other side here. Uh, the gain control doesn't seem to do that much. It, 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 we hear a difference, but it's, it's almost like nothing or it works. More than there's a gradual increase of signal. That's one thing. As for the tuning, it's very, very finicky. So you got to go very slowly when you actually tune for the frequency range you're listening to. Uh, so these are a few things. Uh, shorten the wire if you can. If you are really near the, uh, the antenna itself by having it as short as possible, I think this is going to help you out for sure. And of course, don't forget that the antenna is directional, especially on medium wave. So you might want to uh, check that out. So I hope you enjoyed this video of a demonstration, Texan AN48X on medium wave. Um, of course, more to come, some long wave to come, some um, short wave to come also as the days go by. So as time uh, permits, I will be doing all of this. And uh, well, you know, 27 US dollars uh, plus shipping here was uh, $6 shipping, I think. So um, arrived in what, a week? I, I, I ordered this last week, one week from China by Anonka, pretty fast shipping. And, uh, well, it, it, it's proving that it definitely does work on medium wave. Uh, it really improves the signals. And, of course, we'll be uh, doing the same tests, but with signals that come from far away at nighttime also. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.